Steve, the sat phone industry is, uh, well, kind of crowded. A lot of people out there, but the question is, how many of them are doing it right? And more important, how many are out there doing what the customer really desires? Why don't you talk about your solutions for the sat phone? Sure. Well, like many of our competitors, we use the most reliable network available uh, for the best price, and that's Iridium. Uh, worldwide coverage, so there's not a lot of differentiation from that perspective. Agreed. But once you get into the cabin, into the cockpit, you start seeing the big differences. Uh, our, all of our systems use POTS, plain old telephone, two-wire telephony, and because of that, we can be very flexible in the kinds of devices we provide. We have a cockpit dialer called the Mission Management Unit, which is this Zeus Rail device right here, okay. that pilots can use to dial phone numbers on and even do text messaging. And uh, it has an interface for talking through the audio panel to their headset. So while you're on with your normal headset, you are talking over the phone on your regular headset. Okay. Once you move to the cabin, the big demand has been for a high-quality cordless handset. And this is our, our offering for the cabin. We have charging cradles that are either flush-mounted or surface-mounted, okay. depending on the geometry of the cabin. And we also offer a noise-canceling headset for use with this handset in case you're in a noisy aircraft or you want a hands-free operation. Uh, this uses the DECT 6.0 technology, which is the latest cordless phone technology that was uh, invented in Europe and is now available in the U.S., and we take full advantage of that with this phone. This phone has a noise-canceling microphone in it. It has a speaker. You can use a speakerphone on it, and it's extremely easy to use from dialing perspective. Uh, this is definitely an industrial-strength cordless phone, and it has a, a very bright color screen on it and very long battery life and uh, is ideal for the cabin environment. For those people who really want a tethered phone, we do offer a corded phone, but most of our customers are opting for this cordless phone. Okay. And we can support up to four of these on one line. We can have a two-line system with, with four phones on each line. Aero TV is brought to you by Cirrus aircraft have always been easy to fly. Now they're easier than ever to buy. A complete line of ownership programs gives you everything you need to purchase, trade, finance, lease, insure, and warranty your Cirrus. There's even an ownership program for non-pilots. The Cirrus Access Pilot can teach you how to fly or fly the plane for you. Find out more at www.cirrusdesign.com. Cirrus, for the love of flying. What kind of customer right now is looking for a sat phone solution? Uh, and more important, where are these installations occurring right now? Well, the biggest thing that's happening in the industry is that the Magnusar systems are being pulled out at a very fast rate. Yes. They're very heavy, they're extremely expensive to get repaired, and the airtime is very costly. Mm -hmm. So all those factors add up to, let's get rid of this Magnusar and put an Iridium phone in. A lot of the people with small to mid-sized jets mm -hmm. that have Magnusar systems are replacing them now, and that's where we're seeing most of our activity. What kind of installation is something like this these days? Uh, from what I understand, they've really fine-tuned the uh, process of getting these things into airplanes now. It certainly is fast. The biggest issue is always the antenna. We're talking about pressurized aircraft. We use a small iridium patch antenna. Is that all? That's the whole antenna. Uh, requires a doubler plate, as, as you would imagine. Uh, this obviously requires the removal of the headliner, which often is a, a big, big part of the job. And so these phones are typically installed when other maintenance is being performed when the interior is already out and therefore the time to do it is extremely short compared to a just a from scratch install. Our, tr our transceiver is also mounted on a tray and is removable with this one nut here. Okay. So by mounting this tray, you have a very quick way of mounting the transceiver. Right. The phones themselves bolt in on very simple mounts in the aircraft. So the installation actually can be done quite efficiently. The cool part of the installation is there's very little wiring, okay. just very extreme small amount of wiring. The hardware has a list price of 14995 for one dialing device, either the MMU, the corded phone, or the cordless phone. And uh, we offer additional handsets for, obviously, more money. Um, so installation time varies from shop to shop. Uh, if it was done from scratch and that's all they were doing, you know, it might be a 40-hour installation. Okay. If it's done as part of other, other maintenance, it might only add 10 hours to the installation. Aero TV is brought to you by... Today... There is an affordable, high-performance, easy-to-own, and easy-to-operate very light jet designed with you in mind. Far less expensive than any other twin-engine jet to buy, it is also the least expensive to own and operate. It is the Eclipse 500, the jet that's easy to buy, easy to fly, and fun to own. The jet for you. 
do we see any stability in the market at this point? Is this pretty much where it's going to settle into for the foreseeable future? I don't see, in the in the small to mid-sized business jets. I don't think we're going to see either you know, prices come down much lower or technology change. Um, Iridium's new satellite constellation with higher bandwidth won't be launched for another five or six years. Right. So I think we're in in for the long haul right now. So the thing that we can count on at this point is that an installation that you undertake now is going to have some a reasonable amount of shelf life. Well, absolutely, and what Iridium has absolutely guaranteed that any equipment that is currently working with their constellation will work with their new constellation. So this has a very long-range life. Outstanding. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jim. For hardware costs of as little as $15,000 for the first unit, and with the dependable and well-known Iridium system backing it up, here's a system with a shelf life that's good for at least five or six years in its current form and will be upwardly compatible with everything that comes after that. For the Aero News Network and for Aero TV, I'm Jim Campbell.